In this video, we're going to talk about how to complete discussion board number seven in Math 203 using StatCrunch. So in this discussion board, you're going to be given some data, which is about course evaluations. And if you click on that link, you're going to get the course evaluation information in Excel. Then you can go ahead and move that over to StatCrunch easily by just clicking the tab in the top corner and copying all that information going over to your stat crunch, clicking on the title cell for the very first column and paste all that information in there and you should be all set. So in this assignment, you are supposed to pick which column you believe is most correlated with the overall course evaluation. For this example, I'm going to use some different data just to show you what to do, but without actually providing any of the results that you'll get when you run your hypothesis test. So I'm going to be using this data here. I am looking here to see if the time a student spends in my math lab logged in is correlated to the final grade that they have in class. So the first thing you want to do to check to see if there's any reason to perform a test for correlation to begin with is we want to make a scatter plot to see if the dots on the scatter plot look like they're trending in some sort of linear way. So to do that here we're going to go to graph and then choose scatter plot and then you're going to select your two variables. So your x variable, or my x variable, excuse me, will be the time spent in my math lab, and the y variable will be the grade that the student received, and then I can go down here to graph properties, and I can add in labels for my two axes and my title. You always want to have a fully labeled graph so that your reader can understand what the graph is representing without having to dig through the weeds of your written response. So for the X label here, I'm going to say time spent in my math lab and the Y axis is the grade or the final grade. And for the title, I'm going to say scatter plot time in MML versus final grade. You can title your graph whatever you like. This is what I'm titling mine. And then once you've labeled it appropriately, you can click compute. So here is my scatter plot showing the relationship between the time a student spends in my math lab and the final grade that they get in class. So when I look at this graph, I don't really see a linear pattern exactly, but I do sort of see that the dots tend to kind of start off low and over time they're going higher and higher. So this to me visually is enough reason to go ahead and perform my hypothesis test for correlation. So that's the next thing we want to do. We're going to go ahead and perform our official hypothesis test. So to get the results you need in my math lab, you're going to go ahead and go to stat. And then we're doing correlation and regression here. So we're going to choose regression. And we're looking for linear regression or linear correlation. So we're going to choose simple linear. So again, we just need to select the correct X variable and the correct Y variable. This should be the same as what you selected for your graph. And then we want to perform a hypothesis test. And we want all these zeros and all these symbols to stay the same. And then we click Compute. So here are the results of my hypothesis test. So the numbers that I want to look at are the R value, which is here. So the R value, the correlation coefficient for my two columns of data was 0.51. So that's um, showing that there's maybe okay, reasonable correlation between these two. And then for the P value, I want to be looking at this P value right here the number that's under the p-value column on the slope line. So my p-value for this test is 0 0.0014. Since that is less than my significance level, which I've chosen as 0 0.05, that means I should reject 
the null hypothesis. In a correlation test, the null hypothesis always says that there is no correlation. So I'm rejecting that statement and therefore I am supporting the alternative hypothesis which says that yes, indeed there does seem to be correlation between these two sets of data. So that's it. That's all you need to have technology-wise for your discussion board in week seven.